remember, folks, just uh, speak into your microphones if you can. Oh. It'll be easier for folks. We're good. All right, folks, good afternoon. Welcome. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for joining us for the uh, 37th meeting of the 13th elected uh, Town Council of Happy Valley Goose Bay. Um, we have an agenda in front of us. Um, any additions or anything for the agenda? We're good. All right, so I'll entertain a motion to adopt the agenda as it is presented. So moved. Okay, moved by Councillor Palmer, seconded by Councillor uh, Brookfield. Discussion? And uh, all those in favor indicate with aye. 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 Contraminded? All right, we've adopted our agenda. Delegations? We have two delegations. Two delegations? Registered. Yep. The first one is Curtis Anders. All right. So do you have the. Ah, do gotcha. Have the <laughs> do you want me to do it? Hmm? You want me to do it? Or you, do you have you, it? If you know yeah, the spiel, so no, no, you just. Break. You good? Do I need to read the official? <laughs> no, nope, no. Nope. Just cut. The All right, okay. so I'll do it. You, you got go. it? You okay. Go. All right, so uh, <laughs> welcome, uh, Mr. Sanders. Thanks All very right. much for, uh, for coming. I um, the uh, process with uh, delegations is you'll be given 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah, uh, there won't be any back and forth kind of conversation between council. Um, but uh, the floor is yours, sir. And uh, thanks for coming. And I uh, want to, well, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, I want to thank the council of Happy Valley Goose Bay for allowing me to speak. And I'm speaking as a citizen of Goose Bay that was born and raised here. Um, I was very impressed with the town with their five year plan that you had an open session for open general public. I had the honor, privilege to go into the, with the seniors group. That was a very interesting session. And I had the privilege of going to the Aboriginal group for session. And unfortunately, I was the only Aboriginal person in for Upper Lake Malvo here uh, that was showed up at the session. But that's here and here, but that's up to themselves. I want to speak of two uh, topics here, if I may is one is the uh, your five-year plan and the second would be your uh, just the homeless shelter or the um, proposed homeless shelter of no, all right just yeah i think someone's knocking at the door all right no continue sir okay uh in regarding your five-year plan like i was born here 60 odd years ago uh right where i live now i cut firewood uh you have a subdivision over there on Callan Drive that the town approved many, many years ago. And they developed that land. And to my understanding that the town, when the people purchased that land, that they were told there was no basements to be allowed. All right, that's understandable. But over the years, the water table has risen. Anyone that born here or raised here or if the town engineer has looked at this, where the, the subdivision is now, is a, it's in a bog. But, but that's, whoever decided that, that's beyond your control, that was beyond this town council. I think what you're gonna have to do in the near future, if uh, you're gonna develop land that's gonna be on a bog, you have to do more engineering. Uh, and regarding the second aspect for my uh, five-year plan, I would like to see the kudos to the town workers for the snow clearing. I gotta give them the best, but only the problem I have is on the corners. I live on a corner, unfortunately, but that's here and here, but I get a lot of sand. I mean, but I think at every corner in the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay, even. Uh, Every corner should be widened out with a snowblower that you can, when you come up to an intersection, that should be widened so you can see it. That's my only two concerns regarding that there. Okay. Right, and sir. regarding the <coughs> homeless <coughs> hub or uh, what we residents of Happy Valley do Bay, as I look around here, I see Mr. Woodward there on the side there, Mr. Kellen. Mr. Schaus, Mr. Blakey, Mr. I can name them all off. These people here, think about it. The 13th Council 
You had council mayors and councils. They came to Goose Bay. You come to Goose Bay to make a living for your family. We all want what's best for our families. We want to grow up safe. We're not asking for nothing out of the ordinary. And regarding this safety of this proposed hub, that this homeless shelter, in I think it was 2015 or 16, I can't quite remember, but when the Newman's home closed down on 10th Street, they were in a fussle, <coughs> all right? They, at the time, the government of Newfoundland, the government of the day, decided to give Nazivut government funding to provide funding to ho house these homeless people, all right? So, hunky door, and a few years later, the homeless shelter over there on, right next to the Chamber of Commerce, it got, the overflow has got so bad that you have to uh, get the Labrador in. Well, great. Let's call it, let's talk it like it is. What the issue with the problem here is, people are too scared to say it. It's an Aboriginal thing. I'm Aboriginal, I'm Inuit. I have some of my best friends who are Inu. They don't drink. And I talk to them about what's going on here. They see what's going on here. They're ashamed. This is not the Inu culture. This is not the Inuit culture by any means. By the federal government, by the provincial government, throwing out $40 million, say we're going to hear, you're going to take, take this $40 million, we'll help you. They're not helping the people who got those addictions and mental health. You, what you're doing, dear, what you did like years ago in Davis Inlet. You take these people and you relocate them. And, and at whose expense are they being re relocated at? They're relocated at the expense of the residents of Happy Valley Goose Bay who paid, who's raised here and pay taxes. We don't want this going on anywhere. I know the mayor or the councilors here, no one. The business damn well don't want it. You're sick and tired of people walking down the road in front of the traffic, drunk, intoxicated. You phoned the RCMP. I was out here last year, year before. As a, before I get to say a year before, I, I phoned Perry Tripper's office last June. He, I think he, the mayor was down there and, and a few of the councilors were down in St. John's looking at the uh, first place, gathering place or whatever it was. Oh, great things is going to happen, Perry said. Great things is going to happen. I tell you the great things that was going to happen last year, Perry. And you see it, you know it. In the residence of Happy Valley Goose Bay. Nothing has got any better, it got worse. As of today's May 20-something, we don't have the coastal boat running yet. You, we got problems here now. We have problems here now in Happy Valley Goose Bay. We want our safety. It's not getting addressed. It's going to be twice as bad, I can guarantee you, when the, boats, the coastal boat starts running. <clears throat> all right, and how are we going to deal with these Aboriginal people? I don't have the, all the answers, but I can guarantee you one thing. The residents of Happy Valley Goose Bay, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, we don't want this. And if the town council, I'm only one citizen, I'm only one vote. I can assure you, the residents of Happy Valley Goose Bay, they don't want this. If you're going to help these people that got addictions and mental health, I'm in fa all in favor of getting them mental health. We just spent eight, 13 billion on Muskrat Falls, and what are we offering? Scraps, table scraps, forty million dollars. Okay, politicians, Yvonne Jones, I, unfortunately you're sick. I hope you get this message. Perry Tripper, I'm, unfortunately, your wife Carolyn's sick. I wish her all the best. But it's deafening. It's very deafening. This town council here and previous council has asked and begged for help. And this action committee, that's a bigger joke to Santa Claus. I wanted some information regarding of how this homeless hub come about. They couldn't get no answers. Well, I got fed up a couple weeks ago. I had to ask the Freedom of Information Act, Privacy Act. I asked the Premier, 
I asked Lisa Dempster, Minister Hogan, Minister Abbott. I want all the information, emails and documents, uh, how this is going on here. We're the taxpayers of this province. So I'm saying here now as one resident that was born here and raised here, we didn't grow up like this. And I can assure you as you council sit around here at this table, you didn't grow up with uh, seeing drunken people if they're Aboriginal or non-Aboriginal, you didn't grow up with that environment. And then regarding the phone in the RCMP, like I said, I spoke last year to Pierre Tripper right out here in the uh, out here. We had a, a protest. And don't worry, great things is gonna happen. I'll tell you one thing, great thing. One great thing happened this weekend. I was walk I was driving down the road and we see an intoxicated person. I got a document, I need to phone the RCMP dispatch office at St. John's. Yeah, we'll have someone there. I took my camera out, I seen the RCMP going there, I took my camera out and videotaped it. <coughs> Before the RCMP got there, the business establishment got that gentleman there passed out on the step. And what did the RCMP do? They let him go. Oh, it's their discretion. I lodged a complaint to the commanding officer here, here at Goose Bay today. Uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna see what happened here. I asked for body cameras. No, we don't have no body cameras for the RCMP, but listen, you can spend $13 billion on a Muskrat Falls, which all the taxpayers are paying, get some body cameras on there. We want this addressed. Duh. We wanna walk safe in our community. We grow up here. We're not asking for nothing. We only want to live in peace and quiet. And do you think that this, it's very graceful for the 50th year of the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay to show the community? It was a lovely Chamber of Commerce to put that off. You know, is the Chamber of Commerce going to support the residents of Happy Valley Goose Bay? Where do they stand on that? I don't know where they stand on that. <clears throat> but I can guarantee you, we. We, as people of Happy Valley Goose Bay taxpayers that was born here and raised here, we don't, don't need these people walking around town drunk. And so for, in regard to the RCMP, the RCMP is up to their discretion. So you can pick up the phone and phone the RCMP. It's their discretion if they're gonna pick them up. All right? Well, I had to let you know that. Let all the residents of Happy Valley Goose Bay know that. So, when you, so what, where do we go from here? I feel sorry for you, this town council. I feel very sorry for what you got to put up with now, what you got to deal with now, within the next year. You're, there's going to be election in a year, within a year. I guarantee you, as God made green little apples, you'll have election, federal and provincial. What they're trying to do is wash their hands and throw that $40 million here at town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. Where was, it, where was the uh, government when the town council was asking for help prior to Muskrat Falls? Where were they too? It fell, it fallen on deaf ears. It has fallen on deaf ears now. So I'm just a little bit upset. And I'm, uh, I think I'm speaking, I'm speaking for myself as an Inuit person for, that was born here and raised here. And I can guarantee you, I have a lot of, Inu, Inuit, and non-Aboriginal people are my good friends, and they never grew up like that. And we no, we're not pointing fingers or being prejudiced. If these people need help, by all means, get them help. Bring them and get the psychiatrists and the addictions counselors. Good luck getting psychiatrists and addictions helpers. You can't even get a nurse over there at the hospital. I, we can go on till we're talking blue in the face, but I don't uh, want to do that. I, I am going to say, you're, I'll give you a minute or so just to wrap up, uh, Curtis. You're, you're gone beyond your time right now. Oh, so yeah. I'm cut off? Well, we have other delegations. So we, the, okay, the rules uh, are we give, we, we, we allow right, 10 I, minutes. Can right? I ask you something? Can I'm I ask sure. one of these delegation if I can have their 10 minutes? Well, I, I think that, uh, I think, I, I, I think. I'll tell you, well, I'll come back next month, well, Mr. Mayor. No, 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 that's absolutely. okay. That's welcome. okay. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. I'll come back next month, okay? Indeed. I appreciate. If you see fit that. Yeah. You see fit, yep. this town council, see fit here that a resident that was born here and raised here 
And my grandfather was one of the first families here. Yeah. And if I get 10 minutes to talk, so be it. I'll deal with it. Yeah. I'll come back next month. Well, I'll be glad and, to talk and, to you. And no question. It's just that, unfortunately, we have another delegation this yes, evening. Yes, you have other yep. delegation, yep. too. But I feel it's important. If you don't want to listen to, are you, even you're only going to give me the 10 minutes. Absolutely, Mr. Yes. Mr. Saunders. Great. You, you, uh, the rules that we, we go by I here fully is, understand is the 10 minutes. I'll see you next month, no question. sir. Thank you And if you, much. if you want to meet with the uh, with council, we'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, Just I, not in our session public-wise, but any session. And, but you're more than welcome to come no, back next no, month. No, by, by all yeah. means, I, if I'm going to meet with this council, I want it being documented oh, and recorded. No question. So, yeah. I mean, like, this is the public forum. Yep. If you're given 10 minutes, by all means, use your 10 minutes. Absolutely. I'm asking for a grace of this council to give me an extra minute. Say, can well, I ask? I tell you what I will do. I will go to the next delegation and allow her the time in respect of everybody's time. Mm -hmm. And I will come back to you after if you want to. I would love that. That's if council I can get, have it. I can get the rest of my if, 12 or if, 13 brothers to come <laughs> up here. No, no. But if, I got council, no if council doesn't mind, we can, we, we can do that if everybody's in agreement. But I, out of the respect of the other person who had, did come, Normally, it's 10 minutes at the beginning sure. of the meeting. So sure. I, I'll go to her, yeah. and then by all means, we can come back to yeah. you. Yeah, I thank you. Is that, is that thank work you for you? Very no I thank at all. you very kindly. No question. And I appreciate it. And we appreciate, appreciate your comments. We'll talk to you in a few minutes. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Curtis. You need to pause for a moment. Okay. We Would had a little technical glitch, oh. so 